Hey guys, this is New York Prime, aka Come Off King. Welcome to my latest review. I haven't done a review for a long time. I wasn't ready, but now I am. So I decided to do a review of Rumble Roses at X on the 360. This game is so janky and so sexy, <laughs> but I absolutely love this. There's something about it. So I thought I'd do a review. So if you enjoy this, if you do, please like, comment, and subscribe. Now into the main video. Enjoy. It may seem odd that I'm doing a review of a 360 game, but with the Xbox One being backwards compatible, this is one of the games that you can buy on the store. And I had to. I had memories of the PS3, I think, or was it PS2? I am not sure. I think it was PS2, uh, Rumble Roses. And I remember enjoying it. And yes, of course, I remember the sexy female characters. That's one of the biggest role of this game, is the character designs and personalities. And a lot of the uh, characters are stereotypes of fetishes. <laughs> and there are many here. If it's not the characters, it's the costumes that they can get. I bought this game in the store for $11.99. Is it worth it? I think it is, because it's so bad it's so good i actually love this game it's really fun but totally stupid and totally bad it is a bad game don't get me wrong but i love it rumble rose is, is basically a wrestling game but it has tons of personality and that's what sells the game is the personality that it has the footage you're seeing is the intros uh, the entrances of the wrestlers, just like in real life, they, but these are over the top. And yes, some of the animations are janky as hell, but there's a charm to them. They're fun, they're silly, and they sell the characters, which is the whole point. The characters range from a squirrel girl, to a teacher, to a BDSM, to mistresses, to nurses, to typical Japanese women to um, stereotypical Japanese women and it's just really over the top and crazy but they're done so well they all have a specific personality and it really does show in the animation the terrible voice acting and just the, the, the designs the designs are what sell the characters they're really well done this game came out, came out in 2006, so it's not too old, but it's old enough and it really does show. Some of the animations and some of the poses are just terrible. This dance here is a prime example of how bad it can be, though it gets a little bit worse in a minute. There might be tournaments in this game, but I can't find them at all. So I've been basically been doing the one-on-one -on -one wrestling matches and the street fights. Street fights are basic, um, your street fighting game, your basic fighter, where you uh, attack for health, just like your normal fighting game. But the normal mode is wrestling, and it is a really good wrestling game. I don't like wrestling games. I find them boring, but I find this really fun. It's got your basic uh, mechanics that you would expect in a wrestling game, as in parries, throws, um, and there's even a tag mode, but that mode's impossible. Cause it, no, it's a handicap mode. That is really hard. The handicap one, it just, oh, everyone just seems to have a go at you, and it's just crazy. But I do enjoy it. Even when you lose, it's fun. But sometimes they could just do the same move over and over and over, and it just gets annoying. It's horrible when you get dizzy and then the character does a special move and the character does something else and something else and you can't even stand up. That's when the game gets really hard. But it's still enjoyable. I like this game. Yes, it's a bad game. There's no doubt about it. It's a bad game. But it's so bad, it's so good. It's just something I like about it. And no, it's not just the sexy woman. <laughs> Character progression in this game is crazy. I played tons with one character and all I got was 1%. So getting unlocks and things could be a little bit tricky, though I might have to look that up. Overall, I think this is 
a terrible game, but it's fun. It's stupid. It is a product of the 2006 with the music, the attitude, and the style. But I love it. It's so bad. It's so good. So do I recommend it? Yes. If you like wrestling games and you just like a bit of jank and you like a bit sexy women, give this uh, game a go. So I hope you enjoyed this review of Rumble Rose XX for the 360. If you did then please like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video guys. Bye for now.